Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you the best settings for the Blue Yeti microphone. I'll show you the best things you can do to improve your audio quality and make your Blue Yeti microphone sound way better. I will also go through some accessories that will help you improve the audio quality even more and to also include some software. So I'm going to jump right in with all of the options and I'm going to show you how much of a good microphone this is. To start off, a pop filter and a microphone foam are two things that can really help you increase your audio quality. And most of the time it's already one or the other, but in my case it helped me to improve it using a software by using them both. This can really vary though, it really depends on how you set it up and anything, but also what was really important is in which kind of room you are. Meaning that if there's a lot or not so much echo, that will also really influence the sound quality of your microphone. Another piece of equipment that I will really recommend for the microphone is a boom arm. This one is from Rode and is chosen as one of the best. It helps really stabilize your audio and also you can put your microphone wherever you want when you record. To continue, I really advise you to be close to your microphone. This will mean that your gain has to go down, as you can see here on the left, that's pretty much all the way down, almost, and this will mean that you have to approach to your microphone and this will actually help to increase your audio quality. When you bring the gain up and you're gonna be from far, the audio will be really harsh, hard and just sounds really bad and crispy and distorted. You don't want that, so be sure that you are close to your microphone with a low gain. Now underneath we can see four options that go with the Blue Yeti and these are really useful. Mine is currently on Cardioid. This means that it is available for podcasts, voiceovers and vocals and instruments. Basically everything you record directly to your microphone. When you're recording you could also go with stereo but this one is pretty much harsher and the sounds comes from more directions. The other two wouldn't help you for regular recording. The first one is omnidirectional. This will mean that it is all around the microphone, that everybody all around the microphone could speak into it. This is not recommended for regular recording. Same go with bidirectional. This one is really for interviews or other things that you do with two people speaking each way into the microphone. Now that I've run through all of the basic information you needed to know, I'm going to finish off by saying some software that you really should use in order to improve it even to the max. There are two softwares that I will mostly recommend for doing this, which are Voice Meter and Audacity. These are really good to improve your audio quality. These programs are actually the most important through the process of making this audio quality better, which basically means the, the room or the echo that is present, and you can just change it and you will see the programs if you want voice meter is on my channel there's another video of that in the tutorial i actually use that currently right now all of the things that i went through this video are the things that i use on my microphone and those are basically my recommendations for the blue yeti microphone i've said what i wanted and i wanted to thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it please leave a like it would be really nice subscribe would also be really nice and i hope to see you in my next video goodbye